Oh, I wasn't even looking for this one last night and it popped up and I was like, why am I not shocked by this bullshit? Okay, so this is on IMDb. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute. It wasn't she an adult? She was a damn adult. At the time, this guy's a kid. And I'm like, oh, we're going to normalize the adult woman with the young boy. Okay, but who did this? It was, you know, she okayed it. I don't know why. Okay, so I can't. I'm not going to go on this full thing with it, but she wouldn't have problems with it anyway. But th this is not it, you guys. And I I'm tired of our gender getting targeted for this garbage right here when it's men promoting this. Where they're like, we're going to get our sons raped into adulthood and putting adult women with them. And I think this happened with the night guard story too with the sons being victimized by the dad. And um, here their sons are part of things, I guess, and I don't know. But here's what it says. But nobody cares, right? <laughs> it's just this thing. I was like, I didn't even know little boys had sweet 16s, but uh, not in our family, but okay. Uh, I've always known them to be for little girls, but, you know, okay. So Nikki and uh, Sean, uh, <laughs> I don't know if this is the weirdest thing. Katie had one child with ex-girlfriend Misa. Okay, so fans know he throws huge sweet 16 birthday bashes for his kids. Okay, so Nicki Minaj once reflected on how she was Justin Combs' date for his 16th birthday party. It's just like, huh? Okay, so, but I had to check dates because I'm like, how old is she and when was this and what the hell? So then it goes, however, her late appearance didn't impress Diddy. Okay, so they only care about her late appearance. Is she's going on. Diddy here, uh, what she said. Okay, Nikki once explained that Sean was so mad at her for arriving late to his son's birthday party. The son, Justin, is... 30 years old. I don't know. I was trying to figure this out because they were saying this was like in, what, 2010 or something? It was in Teen Magazine. I, I don't know. This is so bizarre. Okay, so, and he likely remembers his date to his lavish sweet 16 birthday bash. Diddy invited Nikki to perform at the party at the time, but she was also his date. So in 2023, over a, dec over a decade after the 16th birthday party, uh, Minaj reflected on attending the party as his date. And I was like, oh, whoa. Okay, so then... So she took to Instagram and discussed a situation that upset Diddy when Justin popped into um, Minaj live stream comments. What was that like, me being your sweet 16 date, Minaj said, according to Vibe. I know I was mad late, and I can't remember much, but I felt like I just knew Puffy and Misa were so mad at me. I could feel it, Minaj laughed. Referencing Justin's mother, Misa, I was so mad at myself because all of the dresses that I had been trying on that day, I, hate, I hated every single one. Minaj continued to state that she felt horrible about the situation. I felt really horrible, but... I can't believe to this day that I went with him to his sweet 16. Okay, so she pops us out like suddenly, you know, okay, I don't know. But, and I remember he was trying to get cute in the limo, y'all. And I was like, who is you talking to, boy? And then they go, but yes, I had a great time, and he was so fun and funny and very cute, too. I wondered who was his girlfriend at the time, because whatever girlfriend he had at school, I know she probably really mad at him. Why'd he do that? Why he ain't take her on his sweet 16? That's a memorable time. It's like she get pimped out to it and just went along with it. But nobody even cares. I don't think anybody blinked twice on this thing it's all out for his kids <laughs> and then it's just like justin entered his new york party on a throne and wore a dolce cabana checks with adidas nikki trey's lil kim attended the party i like the regal confident feel justin told the teen vogue after justin entered the party in a tux he changed into a red leather jacket jean you know that whole thing and i went red Went with the royal theme while still showing my young swag. With an adult woman? Like, what? I mean, who was there? Okay. Snoop, Fabulous, Cassie, Lauren, 
Floyd, Dwayne, Allen, Chris, Shaquille, Tracy Morgan. Oh, yeah, Tracy Morgan be up. <laughs> I was like, and a lot of things up in here. Uh, Mike receives inv invites among many others. Homeland Security rated P. Diddy. Enough is enough, she continued. Did Justin need several laser beams from firearms pointed at his chest? Did Christian need a gun pointed at the back of his head while he was handcuffed? How many times have we seen young un unarmed black men not make it out of these type of situations alive? I know, it's like the thing I remember they were kind of like going, uh, that was from the, the mom. Okay, so why would the mom want an adult woman with her son? Y'all ain't good parents. Like, it's just whack. But there's all these adults there, right? There's all these, this is what I'm saying. Okay, so the normalization. Anyway, they mentioned it here on Teen Vogue. But I don't, when I skimmed this, they didn't show that as a date thing. So I don't really understand why. Like, they kind of left it out. It just uh, wants to arrive at party. Yada, yada. This outfit. That. Michael Jackson. Okay. For, okay, this, that. So they were doing dance offs and stilettos. Um, I don't know, you guys, but these are okay. He's still he's a minor. He's a kid. I do guys have sweet sixteens. I've never heard of that. Back in the day, you wouldn't put that word sweet with little boy. I mean, I don't know, but it was always like with these little girls and everything. They had these huge like sweet sixteen things and everything. I just think it's weird. But anyway, that maybe it's just. It was just me. But anyway. Um, but they left out the Nicki. Ma That's why I thought it was weird. I go, they put this in Teen Vogue. I go, did they say they were on a date together? No. Not. A I, I don't see it in this context. That's why I was like, that's weird. Maybe they purposely left it out. I have no idea. It's the most bizarre thing. But here, I mean, they legit, they show pictures. So it's a New York party. So in New York. Their AOC is 17, I believe. So even still, it doesn't pass. It's not the state for it, to my knowledge. But, um, yeah, I'm just like, see, here you go. I go, this is the normalization of that shit right there. Hey, Nikki, why don't you go on some little kid here? See, Nikki is, I believe, 10 years older. Um, She, yeah, uh, 10 or 11 years older. So she was of age, and then, yeah, but she's kind of saying it. It's like, yeah, at the time, she was fine with it, but at the, yeah, when they were asking her here, she's like, um, I can't believe I did that. I mean, yeah, do you see something wrong with this? No, but what's a trip on this is that there's all these adults here, right? Literally, no one's just like, whatever, totally normal. And then she says that he tried to get cute up with her, so that means i guess he was trying to get up on her in the in the vehicle there i mean i don't know was it was it meant to be set up like her to be i you know that's what see when i'm reading this thing i'm just like mm -hmm. it almost sounds like she didn't even have a fucking choice did she have a choice i don't know it's a really strange thing you know i was really mad that i was late it was like i would have been like oh oops i uh I got stuck in traffic, man. Sorry, J you know, I got, shit, I ain't going on a fucking date with your son. What the fuck? I don't know, you guys. It's, it's, it's weird. But this was so normalized that in 2010, because you're talking about this is the Russell Brand time, he out raping everybody, everybody's fine with it, they're on kids, it was totally fine, totally fine. And I was out here going, you guys, this is really bad. Okay, so this is me at the time where everybody's doing all this shit. And I was trying to figure out, oh, no, I was just battling everybody. So, no, and everybody was on this other kick of, you know, being with little kids is totally fine. Yeah, and then I pulled up that Brady thing, and then they want to go defend that. And I go, it's kind of like that, but I don't think it was her idea, okay? So, which is a different thing, unless it was, like, Nicki Minaj's idea going, let me be your date. Do you want to go out on a date, you know, because he kept bothering her? Um, I don't know what the premises was of it. That's, that's the thing that matters because if Diddy's like, Nikki, I want you to do this and you need to do it because, you know, I don't know. Who knows? You know, you start out thinking, oh, it only happened to you. Then it turns into this thing. Oh, yeah, everybody else. Then they start hiding it and all this stuff. 
and then you get this massive backlash, right? It's not that they don't believe you guys. I I'm not falling into their bullshit where they keep repeating, oh, their myths and all this. How is this a myth? They know what they did right here. So when I'm tackling this topic, this right here, they want to defend it to the end because they all partook, right? Regardless, she could be she could be a victim in it. She may not be, okay? Because, <laughs> you know, I don't know. But I'm just saying, um, because when I'm saying it, these three are convicted of being involved in a thing right here, right? And at the time, like, they're trying to justify, like, it's just me, the problem is me, and there's no way in hell I would ever say this is wrong because I did this, right? Or, you know, because I, I, I made her do this, and I ain't see, I'm gonna, not going to say I do anything wrong. You know, it's this whole thing right here. It's not a, they don't think it's a myth. They want to cover up this, but they also want to say something's wrong with me and not with them. Like they're trying to flip the argument on its head because in order to sit there and agree with me, they would have to agree that they're criminal, right? That's the mindset. Yeah, so the reversal of looking at this right here, if this was a 16 year old girl, right? And then it's like this, like, um, uh, it would be like a 28 year old. I get, was she 28 here? I'm like 28, 29. Okay. She would have been 16, 26, 27, maybe 27, something like that. Anyway, this would be like me and my perpetrator from when we met. Right. And if you've seen it in a picture like this, um, I think more people, uh, not that they would really act because everybody okayed that situation, but I think there would be more of a, mm, that ain't looking good, you know, versus seeing this where everybody's like, oh, how cute, you know, there's a different mindset about it because this is how you know you got groomed. Because when you're looking at this, you're not reacting and you should be reacting. Uh, she should be react. She's kind of reacting and now it's kind of like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, this thing. But she did not say, I didn't, in that whole thing, she did not say, like, who set it up or why it was set up and why Why in the hell would these parents be okay with this shit anyway? Why are they normalizing adult women on little boys, right? And the stories that are coming out right now, uh, it sounds like adults on young boys. Like, there's a thing here. And vice versa, whatever. You know, there's a whole lot of things going on in this circus. Um this should not be normalized not even for play not even for nothing okay um so this is what we're tackling and everybody got a head problem every mess up because honest to god all of our reactions and 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 all of us had this happen at some point either as a little kid later whatever where we don't really get it right and you go along with this thing and you realize later oh i'm a total victim in that because had to do some maybe something because he made her i don't know but so but she didn't do anything and your action should be hell no dating you know that's the end of it but it didn't happen that way and then he's he's completely he's these kids are hot messes okay there's no doubt about it it just happened it's interesting in the nygaard story though where they I don't know. They came around and then came after the dad. Um, I don't know what extent, like what in that story, like what they did or what they partook in or what happened um, to them in their younger years. But the dad, I believe, did a lot of stuff to them. So here we may find out, even though they may be partaking in a lot of stuff, that these parents and the dad is doing things to him. I mean, these would be like sexual abuse because it's like the dad um, facilitating adults like on their son, right? And then so then they grow up to be these mega socio rapists, degrade women, everything. You're seeing it. You're seeing it, right? So I was like looking at this, this dynamic. I'm like, holy crap. There's all these people in the room that are way fine with this. That's the problem with it. It's like there's a million people in the room. And they're just watching this like, yeah, you know, this is good. This is good. We're abusing a kid, basically. 
and and it's totally fine and you know he's a man he should be treated that way with an adult all over you know it's this thing it wasn't her actually trying to like rape the kid or anything but uh it doesn't sound like it, it sounds like her going dude what the hell so a little different in dynamic but it sounds like a setup it sounds like a setup and it just is disgusting but yeah i mean i don't know if this setup was to try to get her to have sex with them it may have been may have been um that's the thing so it's hard to like to get an opinion from the entire thing yet because when i'm reading it and the way she's saying things it sounds weird it doesn't sound like it was her idea or anything like that and she's just like um you know um this and um uh like i don't know she's just the type that she don't want to seem like a snitch or anything and that's the way she throws it out there and makes it oh um a matter of fact um and so that yeah maybe